All right. So yes, I'm another Dave to talk about backstage. So like they said, I'm Dave. I'm a software engineer at Spotify, and I've been working with Backstage since, well, since before it was called Backstage. Anyway, I'm really, really excited that we finally got this conference together. We've been talking about Backstage Con for years, and I'm just really proud and really ecstatic to see this many people here for this. But anyway, I'm going to talk a little bit about developer effectiveness and what it means for us at Spotify. And then I'm going to share some pretty exciting news. But we all know why we're here to talk about Backstage today. Developers have never been more vital. It seems like every business is now a software business, at least in some way. And if your developers are lost or unhappy or just generally unproductive, then you're probably not keeping pace with your competition, much less innovating and really leading. At the same time, being a developer has never been harder. The complexity that we developers face on a day-to-day -day basis has exploded over the years. And as your business grows and you bring on more technology, more features, more customers, grow to greater scale, and hire more developers, it only gets more and more complicated for all of those developers. Spotify, of course, has grown rapidly over the years and definitely has not been immune to these trends. But instead of slowing down during our growth, as most companies do, we've been accelerating product development with developer retention rates that have defied industry averages. And talk a little bit about how we've done that. I think the most important part has been our focus on developer effectiveness. And the way we define developer effectiveness is as a function of developer productivity and this other concept that we simply refer to as developer happiness. And we measure it in a bunch of different quantitative and qualitative ways internally at Spotify. But we believe that for developers, fulfillment or happiness typically means just creating things, writing code, shipping great products. Because for everyone, being empowered to do your best work matters. But I think for us developers, being empowered to innovate, to experiment, to try new things really matters, like a lot. <laughs> I think toil and friction get in the way of these things and really, really reduce developer friction, uh, developer happiness and effectiveness. Simply put, unhappy developers don't do their best work and can't produce happy code. And Backstage exemplifies much of that Spotify culture. It's built around that aut our autonomous and agile ways of working. Our belief that engineers should have the power to pick the right tools for their job but also our build something attractive and they will come approach to building out our platform, to always ensuring that the tools in the Spotify platform are the right tools for the job and the ones that our developers will pick. And of course, our focus on developers as humans who deserve a great experience just like our consumers do. And in the nearly three years since we open sourced it, Backstage has become a mature and thriving platform that's helped other organizations inject little pieces of that developer culture into their own. And now we're seeing these amazing numbers that Suzanne showed earlier, like the 400 plus adopters, the 1500 plus contributors, all of these numbers, people from around the world using this core framework to build better experiences for hundreds or thousands of their fellow developers. And our goal with Backstage has always been pretty simple. We want to make it a critical part of every developer's daily workflow and to help developers everywhere be happier and be more effective. And last year, when we first shared our intent to commercialize and to sell products for Backstage, we talked about how we've only just begun tapping into the potential of Backstage and sharing what it has done for us at Spotify with everyone else in the world. So today, I want to announce the next step on that journey. And that's Spotify plugins for Backstage, a subscription that will soon be available in beta to all Backstage adopters. The Spotify plugin subscription includes a collection of homegrown plugins that we've relied on for years at Spotify, as well as some new ones designed to unlock even more value for companies adopting Backstage. And of course, we love a good freemium model at Spotify. So these plugins are designed to complement the free and open source plugins that you already enjoy, bringing even more of Spotify's experience and maturity with the Backstage platform to everyone else. And these plugins, they do a lot of things, but they're really aimed at things like enhancing Backstage's usability, solving common developer challenges, reducing operational toil, and improving collaboration across adopting organizations. We've used internal versions of these plugins for years, with hundreds or thousands of Spotifyers using them daily or weekly. So you can trust that they're battle tested and have gone through an endless amount of iteration with Spotify before your teams get to them. We built these plugins so that you don't have to. We want you and your teams to move faster and to make Backstage stickier and more impactful within your organizations without having every other organization duplicate work that we've already done at Spotify. I can't pick too many favorite children, but to call it a few of these, Soundcheck, it's a great plugin that helps you ensure that all your software is built to the engineering standards that you expect at your organizations, while making it easy for the engineers to know about those standards and to follow them. 
Skill exchange is a great way to ensure that your R&D community is always motivated and always working on something fun, exciting, and just as importantly, critical to your business. And Pulse. Pulse lets you make sure that all the rest of the stuff is working well. It'll tell you if your developers really are happy, which, where we started today, is really the key to that happy code. So for more information, check out today's blog post that just went live about Spotify plugins for Backstage, and follow that blog to stay up to date on our progress. But the most important thing to remember is that we'll be hosting a launch event on December 15th, where we'll have a lot more information about the plugins and how to sign up for the subscription. So thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of BackstageCon.